This video podcast is for properly formatting your table of contents in Microsoft Word 2007 using the American Psychological Association APA style, 6th edition. With regards to graduate students in the Orlean Bullard Beeson School of Education and Professional Studies, be sure to always follow the guidelines set in your doctoral student's manual used for preparing dissertations. The first step in formatting your table of contents page for your dissertation is to center the words table of contents in all caps at two inches below the top of the page. The next step is to make the actual table of contents. Although your formatting may be different, this is an example of a table of contents and should have the same layout. List each major section of the document in all capital letters and show the appropriate page numbers. Do not list the table of contents page in the table of contents. The chapters should be numbered with uppercase Roman numerals. The easiest way to format a table of contents is by making a table. In order to make a table, click the table key under the insert ribbon. Click insert table and make a table with three rows and two columns. Make sure that there is a space in between the title and the actual table of contents. Line the columns at five and a half inches from the right side of the table. Here we will make a row for the first three major sections. The acknowledgments, the list of tables, and the chapter. Be sure that each section is double spaced and that there is a dotted line to the end of each of the columns. Also, write the respective lowercase Roman numeral page according to each major section. In order to label your chapters in their respective pages, go directly underneath this table to make another table with five rows or however many chapters are in your dissertation. And three columns. Now, align the columns together moving the right column to five and a half inches and the left column to about one and a half inches from the left side of the table. List only the chapters and major subheadings under each chapter and do not list the subheadings. Give page numbers for chapters only do not list page numbers for subheadings unless your committee advises you to do so. In the left column, label the chapters with their respective uppercase Roman numeral, followed by a period. Label the first chapter, or page 1, as the introduction. and label all of the major subheadings of this chapter such as the problem of statement, purpose of study, research questions, statistical hypothesis, and the significance of the study. Do the same for the rest of the chapters and complete the remaining sections of your dissertation such as the references and the appendixes. You can make the table lines disappear by highlighting the entire table, 
to make the table tools section appear. Click the design ribbon and go to the borders drop down box. From here you can click the no border tab in order to make the lines disappear. Here is an example of a completed table of contents. As you can see, all of the chapters are labeled by page number as well as their Roman numeral, and only the major headings and subheadings are listed. This is what a final production of a table of contents should look like without table lines. The table of contents should be numbered with lowercase Roman numerals. In order to number the page in, Ro in Roman numeral form, go to the Insert tab and click the toolbar labeled as Page Number. Click the tab labeled as Format Page Numbers and change the Number Format drop-down box to the lowercase Roman numerals. If you need to start this page at a different Roman numeral, you can change the Start At toolbar to the Roman numeral in which you wish to begin. Now you are ready to place the Roman numerals at the bottom of the page and in the middle section. Make sure you choose the